What's up everyone? This is Paul Rezae coming at you today with the progress report. I have less than two weeks left to the physique competition. Working out at Lifetime Fitness because I'm using the sauna there. My nutritionist has me doing the sauna twice a day. Cut out all salt. I don't know exactly how that affects your body but it's got me sweating a whole bunch on top of doing the sauna a lot. We're doing some deadlifts. I was interested to see how my strength would hold up considering uh, my caloric intake is a lot lower now and I'm carb depleted almost. So typically when I watch people preparing for shows, bad form right there on the deadlifts. Um, when I witness people preparing for the shows, they almost look like zombies and their strength goes way down. So I wanted to see how much weaker I am now. So this right here I think is 365. I pulled it pretty clean off the floor. This is Eileen, my business partner, and we're she's maxing out too. I think that was 185 for her. I think this is 385 for me. Pulled that clean off the floor. I think this is her max right here. Got it. Yep. All right, right here, 405. This is a PR. I felt good. Yeah. I felt like I pulled that pretty easy and I could do more, but I don't want to risk injury so close to the competition coming up in less than two weeks, so I played it safe. These are deload sets. Basically just means we're going lighter. It's interesting when you go heavy and then you go light again, what a weight just feel, like that's 225 that felt like nothing to me. So yeah, I'm glad to see my strength up. We decided to do some core here. We're just kind of messing around, just having some fun. Got the knees open on these sit-ups. When you hold your legs open like that, it takes the hip flexors out a little bit, forcing your abs to do more of the work. And I typically do not do any kind of core exercises. I mean, I consider deadlifts core exercises. I mean, all the major lifts. Uh, but lately I've been actually integrating more of these type of exercises into my workout routine. And the bizarre thing is when I do them, my abs just cramp up on me like crazy. That was perfect. And you're gonna see me cramp up here. And it, they just start to lock up on me and I can't even continue. Coming up here. See that? I'm like, I'm done. <laughs> if I do any more sit ups, I'm just gonna, my abs are just gonna lock up. Wanted to get in some heavy kettlebell swings, heavier than what I'm used to, because in my, uh, in my gym, in my garage gym, there's no, uh, I don't really have heavy kettlebells, so take advantage of these while I'm at the, at Lifetime. Doing some Roman chairs, that's what I call them at least really try to focus on pulling with the abs versus the hip flexors. So yeah, we're doing cardio twice a day in the morning and then also 45 minutes after. I feel like my cardio is going up too. And now sauna, we have to do sauna twice a day. Really sweating it out. And uh, I'm not sure if he's, if uh, my nutrition is gonna water deplete me, but we'll see. And he wants me going into the sauna even when I'm water depleted, so I don't even know how that's gonna work out. You're about to see us do some visualization right here. I threw that in. I know it looks funny, but hey, I'm telling you, visualize it works. That's it, guys. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already.
Till next time.